Hey guys, Curl Blind Wave. I'm Aaron. I'm Rick. I'm Aaron. And we're back with Brooklyn Nine Nine. Last time on Halloween, we had a Halloween episode. That was the other Halloween. Halloween. This is this time it was. It was that. <laughs> I love that so much. The crown. But it was but, that. Holt did not win. Jake did not win. Santiago is the winner, winner this time. She is a genius slash detective. Great detective. Next year, Hitchcock will win. You are <gasps> great calling de- it now. Oh, oh, no, okay, no. wait. No, I'm writing this down. So next year, Rick says Hitchcock. And Aaron? Hitchcock's not going to win. Okay, Aaron says. Oh, who's going to win? Yeah. Are they going to do it again? Again? Yeah. Is it getting old yet? Mm, We've had three. We need one a year. A win Major for crimes. Boyle. Boyle. We need, we need a Boyle win. Boyle That's needs Boyle. a win sometimes. That's a solid and uh, I think I've seen up to like season four or five of this show. So, so I'm going to say it's going to be someone, and I'm probably going to be right. Go see it. I win. <laughs> I like the idea of Boyle, but yeah. he's if, if Jake's in the competition, he's too much of a bro. He'll to take win. himself out. He won't do it. Yeah, you're right. So that's the only thing. Though. So like, I'm like, well, what's the story going to be? Jake yeah. might be put out of action for some reason, and Boyle yeah. has to defend his honor. Yeah, there you go. Well, now that we've uh, now that we've had um, Halloween, but before that, we just got back Holt and Gina into the the precinct. Uh, you know nine, what? That's nine. good timing. It's a good yeah, thing they it's, got them it was in good just timing. in time for just that, right? in time that, for it. You're right. So now we can start proper with N- Brooklyn Nine Nine, right? Yeah, no fat Terry. Oh, what are you doing? Whoa, what's this? Hey, Falcon wait. One, do we have a go? Did you have breakfast? What? That's not on the checklist. I added it because I care about you. No, I did not <laughs> have breakfast. Unacceptable. Look in your pocket. <laughs> hey, there's a little chocolate chips in there. Hey there. Was it cool? It felt really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool? What went wrong? Nothing. You have fudge on cheek. Oh, no. Oh, from the breakfast bar. <laughs> <laughs> you have fudge on cheek. You have fudge on cheek. <laughs> Everything would have been perfect. Cover every exit. It was a sealed window on the fifth floor. <laughs> yeah. Just going in the door with Charles. Yeah, but then what would my catchphrase have been? Knock, knock, who's there? Justice? Ooh, that's actually amazing. Charles, write that down. Already did. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with you and Marcus? What are you talking about? Your shoulders tightened when he said, baby. Your nostrils flared when I asked <laughs> what was going on with the two of you. And you sack veneer on your sleeve, which, given your aversion to Indian cuisine, suggests you let him choose the restaurant. Why would you do that? Kindness. Pity. Pity. You're about to break up with him. Damn. No. You are good. Damn. Mm-hmm. Things aren't working out. I don't want to talk about it. I regret the words we've already spoken. Listen, I know I probably shouldn't <laughs> get involved, but... Marcus is my nephew, and... I'm going to send him a text while he's sleeping that says, we're done. Clear. Accurate. But do you feel like it's enough? We're done. Goodbye. Yes. That should do it. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Charles and I are taking you to the great outdoors, to Detective Lohank's cabin. Boom. You two would hate this, right? Yeah. You can't find it. This would be so much fun. fun What I'm imagining, I would hate. I have to sell him on it, but I'm afraid I might come across a little boring. <gasps> Amy, are you asking me to she's all that, you? I didn't read that. But if it's about helping out a friend, then yes, she's please. All she's all that me. All right, first I'm gonna need to break you down to nothing and then build you back up piece by piece. Well, the meeting's tomorrow. Well, we'll just break you down to nothing and see what time it is. Mm. <laughs> What is that smell? That is the absence of urine. (laughs) (laughs) I'm talking frisbee. Boy, what else am I talking? Wildflower picking so we can make our own cologne. Nope, I was talking bonfires and s'mores, (laughs) but that's my fault for throwing to you. This is going to be fun as hell. This is going to be the best weekend ever! Car breaks down. Welcome to Stink Puddle. Oh, no, easy. Stink Puddle. Stink Puddle. Manor! Of course there's running water. Oh, but I wouldn't use it. It's very contaminated. We had three dogs die in the well. Three? They weren't all tied together. We might have just lost the one. Sad thing is they were therapy dogs for my son. Oh, yeah. my God. Real abandonment issues after my wife left. It was kind of like an emotional scar and an emotional scar. But the woods are super nice, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, gorgeous. Except during sinkhole season. When sinkhole season? It's been going on for like 20 years now. It's kind of like a Game of Thrones winner. Right. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'll leave you guys to it. Have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. For instance, drink the water or let your wife go on work trips. 
Duly noted. You wanted to see me? I told Kevin that about guy. how I approved oh, of man. your strategy for breaking up with Marcus, and he said that we were, quote, sociopaths, <laughs> unquote. So you're going to leave him? No. So I think you're going to leave him? <laughs> I visited www.ladiesgoodhealthmag.com backslash sex hyphen relationships backslash 8675999904 backslash 9432 ampersand 20.html. <laughs> ampersand. <laughs> Do you know that site? Yeah. Well, apparently. <laughs> I think we should break up. That makes me feel sad. I'm sad. Your sadness is noted. I feel acknowledged. <laughs> Thank you for breaking up with me. It would take me eight minutes to collect my things. I think that went very well. <laughs> Fresh trout to go, please. Oh, my God. Look at that run. Just went straight up. Now it's coming down. What? How'd you go straight up? <laughs> Yeah. I didn't see where it went. Back of my neck. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, I've learned from your mistakes. Have they ever gone far. fishing? I guess not. Late Do they have bait? Yeah. Oh, shit. I've, I've, I've done that fun. before. And fishing I caught a fun. fish. Yeah. Back to the cabin? Yeah. While Good doing story. While doing that? Yep. Write that down. We'll come back to it. Until this moment, there was only darkness. But now, there is light. I am Vanessa Santiago, and I'm about to blow your minds. You want me to change my name to Vanessa? Desperately. They're so bright. The cowards they are, they Chinese are know how to make a terrible scotch. They certainly do. Why'd you oh, get Chinese scotch? Cheap. Out, uh, well, I found yeah. all the worms. They're eating a fox corpse in the outhouse. Speaking of which, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it's gonna be a sporgus board. Five hours. Something bad happened to Charles, didn't it? Big time. Oh, what if the last thing we Five ever hours. Was a sporgus board? <laughs> did they assume they would know how to clean a fish? Yeah, those, they do not know how to boat a fish. We're on an adventure, right? Fun Terry? Fun Terry's gone. He starved to death an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Try to acknowledge his feelings. It wasn't easy, there were a lot of them. He's just so confused. So sad. <laughs> Are you climbing out the window? No. I climbed back in and we talked about emotions for 20 minutes. It was incredibly meaningful to me. And I'm gonna miss him. Oh no. This is exactly what I didn't want. You crying? Oh! <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> I deserve that! Why did he deserve that? <laughs> He's probably chewing on bark and berries, having the time of his life, safe and sound. Hey, Jake! Ho ho! What's that I hear? He fell in the well. Safe and sound? Did he? What are you saying, know. Charles? That you're having the time of your life? He's I'm in a sick hole and I'm badly hurt. Damn it! <laughs> Boyle, what the hell? I know it's a that is. Oh you. my gosh! I spotted a gorgeous chanterelle. The psychic told me I was gonna die alone in a pit, and I kept telling myself, "There's a hole, not a pit. There's a hole, not a pit." <laughs> There's a hole, not a pit. Charles, there's a hole, not a pit. All right. <laughs> Psychic toy, I was gonna die in a pit. <laughs> that joke is so funny. Up, Terry. No, grab on, let me. No! No! <sighs> no, it's floating stars all over again. <laughs> <laughs> you have the right to remain on. Well lit. Wow, I just don't see any need for it at all. I just put the flashlight in my mouth when my hands are full. Sir, the human mouth is nasty. Yeah, but mouths are free. You are scum. <laughs> Great trip, Jake. Oh, thanks, man. You know that was sarcastic. Ow. You didn't bring food or water or ask if Lo Hank's cabin was straight out of a horror movie. <laughs> now you got us trapped in a pit. Oh, okay. I know the directions. Charles, spoon with me. We need to huddle together for warmth. No. Charles, you're my best friend. You're going to spoon with me. I call for a spoon. Charles, get over here right now. <laughs> Boyle, don't throw away a lifelong friendship for a one-night spoon with Terry. Okay, enough. We're going to stop fighting. We're going to lie down. We're going to triple spoon like front of us. <laughs> Both sides. <laughs> We're going to triple spoon like front of us. Okay. Hey, that's better, right? So do we know any songs? Shut up, Charles! <laughs> do we know any songs? Oh, where's Jake? Jake? Where's Jake? Did you eat him? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, guys. Oh, 
he got out. He yeah, used his easy, pants. Easy, laughing, squeezy. I think you're only 99% right. <laughs> We're rolling. No, no. <laughs> 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 What if that was it? My one chance of love. And what if I never get a second chance? I don't know. I'm just... I'm just sad. Well, I, I understand. Wait, are you crying? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging my feelings. Thank you for acknowledging my... <laughs> We're both great at this. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was going to break the world record for speed reading. Yeah, like some little girl's going to take down Yuri Jargonov. <laughs> anyway. It was a total disaster. Not a total disaster. None of us got sick from that dog water. Do you drink that? No. Look, Jake, you were right. I have kind of forgotten how to have fun. So... Oh, the God. fireworks you made me surrender when we re-entered New York! We're gonna set them off in a big pile all what at once. Sign what?! Our guns at them? You what? jump over that high. No. no. We're gonna set them off like normal people. Oh, that's good, too. Oh, man, they got long feet. Run! Run! Here we go. I live in the lawn. I'll blow up. <sighs> so you guys would not have liked that camping trip. No. 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 Is there a I'm version of a know. camping trip that you do mm -hmm. like? Yeah, I went to a, I went. So like I went to a cabin one time and uh, we went there. It had like a grill and stuff, so we mm -hmm. cooked out and stuff, and that was really cool. And had like a little campfire out front that you could sit at, and then out back they had a hot tub, hot tub. And a sauna, and uh, then we went and we got some pizza. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, I went to a cabin that had electricity, air conditioning, hot tub, pin pong table. Mm -hmm. Like that is where I need to be. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And good. internet. So not like a tent camping thing. I know. Private, you wouldn't be. I've done that once. Yeah. That I remember. Mm -hmm. Like we went to some place and we slept in a tent. It yeah. was me and Melanie and another couple and we all like went camping together. Gotcha. Did a lot of RV camping. Yeah. Um, Hmm. Dramatic. Dramatic. <laughs> hmm. I wonder when this when this person did this. I was looking up who the world's fastest speed reader like record what it is. Yeah. Eighty pages per minute. Eighty pages per minute. Damn. That's Wait, like that's gotta be like a minute. It's gotta be like that's more what? than one a second. Are we How do you read? There's no way you're reading it, right? There's no way. Are we it, talking like Dr. Seuss pages? No. That's not possible, is it? The world's fastest, and this is from OKCFox.com. Is there like a Guinness? Howard Speedy Berg is his name. Yeah. How to read a book. <laughs> How do you read a page in a book in less than a second? I mean, it shows up in a few places. That's not possible. I don't know. I mean, no. I, I'm convinced that he cheated and he <laughs> memorized this entire book. I don't know. I mean, like... You know, Rain Man was able to look at all his matches. Rain just, Man is fake. Instantly, no. That's yeah, but there are people like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like a savant or something. Yeah. But still, like, how can you process an entire page worth just, of information in a second? Just input, right? Like, he couldn't read my pages. Guinness World Record. They're not very legible. <laughs> okay, well, this, here we go. Wikipedia. Okay. Did you search for Yuri, what's his name? Like I was you, I wanted to find Yuri uh, Jarganov or whatever it was. Howard Steven Berg from the United States is claimed to be the Guinness World Record holder for fast reading with a speed of 25,000 words per minute. And Maria Teresa Calderon from the Philippines claims to have earned the Guinness World Record for world's fastest reader at 80,000 words per minute. Hmm. Well, if they can just claim it, what does Guinness say? Where's the Guinness one? The thing about Guinness, too, is... You gotta pay like fourteen thousand dollars just to like get them to come out. Be in it. You gotta pay for those guys to come out. Then they like just kind of like lazily like yeah, and they did it and they give them they get money. Really? Yeah. So they don't they don't like go around trying to find it to make their book more interesting. I mean, their book they sell it once a year. Well, it's already interesting. It's, it's a website now. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. 
I, I loved that book when I was a kid, though. Do you remember? There was I have just heard there's a lot of money involved when it comes to Guinness. Yeah. Cognitive. Like, you could be better, and if you don't pay, you're not getting you're not getting that book. So this is what's said about speed reading. Uh, speed reading is any of several techniques claiming to improve one's ability to read quickly. Speed reading methods include chunking and minimizing subvocalization. The many available speed reading training programs may utilize books, videos, software, and seminars. There is little scientific evidence regarding the speed reading, and as a result, its values seem uncertain. Yeah. Cognitive neuroscientists say that claims of reading up to a thousand words per minute must be viewed with skepticism. Yeah, I agree. I think it's impossible. So uh, I challenge any speed reader to read a, a story that I write and tell me the plot. What it's about? Yep. It's only going to be 50 pages. And you got 10 seconds. No, you give them 50 pages, words. you write it, and you tsh, and tell me what it said. What was the story? I was just curious when she said that. I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's a real person. Yeah. I can't find that person. Yuri, was like Yuri jo- Jargonov or something? Right? That is, sounds got Yuri. Reading. When you said Yuri, 80 pages. Korbach. Um, no, Jog- Jargonov. Jargonov's right there. When you said 80 pages in one minute, it just felt like just utter bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I searched Jarkinov already. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's real, but that's fucking fast as hell. I was just trying to find that sure. person's name, but yeah. Anyway, I feel like Amy interview. could have benefited from a book light as a kid. Did you have a book light? I no. had a book light. Yeah, like a yeah, it like pinches over the book and then it goes and then this little light. Why would I have one of those? They had them at the book I didn't fair. Have a book light. I didn't have a bookmark. You didn't read books. I didn't have a. I didn't have a. You also needed them for your Game Boy. For the Game Boy too. Yeah. Did you have a Game Boy? Dude, I had a fucking Game Boy with the Game Boy Light and the, like, magnifying Magnifying. thing, so it was even bigger. And then the the control pad that you put on top of the other Uh control pad. Like, you get to the point where you have, like, all this shit around your Game Boy. This is so... It was so great. It's like Theseus' Game Boy. Boy. At what point is it still Theseus' Game Boy? Exactly. It's now something new. (laughs) No, sadly, I never had anything until, like, a DS. Gotcha. So, I didn't have a Game Boy. I didn't have a bookmark. I didn't have a book light. Didn't have a book bag. Mm. Nothing. Nothing. Well, what uh, Diaz doesn't have anymore is a boyfriend. Marcus, but she has a heart. It oh, was sad. It was sad. It was. It was. It was kind of sad too. When, and like, we she saw was crying, and then yeah. Holzer crying, oh, and like emotional. And then like they both acknowledge each other's feelings, and they <laughs> we're, so they were so this. good at this. We were so good at this. Uh. Again, Scully, when he's like, "Are you crying? <laughs> I deserve that." I was like, "What?" <laughs> He's just worried for his, uh, like, associate employee person. Yeah, I'm so glad Holt's back. Co-worker. That was definitely my favorite storyline. I really like the camping storyline. Yeah. Yeah, the whole... I think the best joke written, it might not be the funniest, but it's the best joke that Charles Psychic said he would die in a pit. And he's, like, once he fell in the pit, that's the person he's thinking of. You know, but like we're we're a couple steps away from it, so he's already dealt with it. Like, no, it's a whole lot of pit, you know. But I think it's the best joke I've ever well, I've heard in the show. I mean, it's a hole in His psychic hole in said he died in a pit. What's the difference between a hole and a pit? I would uh, I would say the difference is like, like that was probably a pit. Yeah. Whereas a hole goes somewhere. I would say a pit, right? I'd say a hole is man-made. Well, but so are pits, I think. No, like, like I a, think like all a pits sinking, are man-made. Not like all a, holes are man-made. Like a tar pit, that's natural. Yeah, because the day long leg will make a hole, and the groundhog will make a hole, but they're not gonna make a pit. True, and I've I've stepped in a hole before, and it wasn't like my foot went somewhere. You yeah, know? like a I hole know. usually passes entirely through a surface or an object. A pit is usually a concave concavity. Okay. A pot hole. Is well, a, then you can't call a groundhog thing a hole. Because they, almost, they mo- almost never come back up. They're just down in there. Yeah, but it passes down through, though, and goes somewhere. It doesn't like, go anywhere. But it, it this does. Is, this is a den. Well, if it, if it just does this, then no. But yeah. if it actually, like, they go deep into that, and they go somewhere. Where do you think they go, Aaron? It's fat, further in. Go they just the dig down, and then there's, there's just a den in there. I mean, yeah, but, like, that's, like, it's a hole to their den. But it doesn't pass through. It doesn't pass through the earth. No. <laughs> no. But it's a hole that passes to their den. How would you classify a well? A well? Um, yeah. That would probably be a pit, pit of water. If, if, if a, a well is just a pit full of water, right? Which that's Brad Pitt. I just call it. A, yeah, you're right. It's a Brad, <laughs> Brad hole. 
<laughs> He'd just be like, how are you in my house? Ah! So, uh, I, I'm glad my thought process is what they have on here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I, I don't think the distinctions are that crazy. What do you mean? I think they're pretty interchangeable. No. It doesn't got to be one or the other. No, but that's like, there's like, there's other words that people like use. Like, well, you shouldn't be using that word. You should be using yeah. this word. But that's just what they use. Mm. But like a punji pit. Language is fluid. It never changes. Right? Huh? Yeah, money. Yeah, no. It's just you fall in the pit. There's spikes. You land in it, and then, yeah. there you go. Like that's it. But like, if you fell in a punji hole, <laughs> so in holes they were just digging pits the whole time. They were. Okay. Yeah. So it should have been called pits. It should have been. Yeah. The pits. That's like an example of them using it. Incredibly. Digging up them pits. Dig it. It, it just doesn't gross. sound as. Sounds good. gross. Yeah. Yeah, but there was a guy. I'm gonna get in them pits. But there was a guy named Armpit. Should they be called Donut Pits? But see, it's not. A, it's, see, look. This, you have a you have an armpit. It's just it's concave, right? But you have a butt hole because that can go further to where your stomach is. Well, I love Rosa climbing yeah. out the window. And he was that like, was funny. Are you going out the window? Surprise. No, that was so good. Ah, that was great. So Rick, you need to tell me that you once caught a fish by throwing your rod into the lake. I did. Yeah. So uh, we were at a pond yeah. and we were fishing in a boat. And I, I was a child who was not the most coordinated child. Mm -hmm. And I just let that sucker go, and it went out into the pond. A storm came in, so we had oh, to wow. leave, you yeah. know. So the pole's still floating in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah the pole's still floating. <clears throat> and, like, we leave, we go inside or whatever, and then it stops, and we go back out to try and find my pole. And we see the bobber, yeah. uh, but not the pole. Mm. And we go over, and we're, like, pulling it up, and I pull up the, the rod. Like from a boat? Yeah. Okay. And then I keep pulling it up, and there's a bass on it. Oh, damn. <laughs> Got it. You did it. I did it. You called Guinness World Records. <laughs> <laughs> was it still kicking? Huh? It was still kicking, right? It was still alive. I guess it wouldn't have been out there that long. Where it's stuck on this. Like, that'd be terrible fate, right? Yeah. You're stuck on this hook, just can't go nowhere. I guess. Well, it pulling, was probably pulling. The, probably pulling yeah. the bobber around a little bit, yeah. right? I would well, imagine, yeah, so. and the, it might have been able to pull the pole. I don't know. I, don't I know imagine it could. Maybe. Like, with wheels. it being under the water, it probably doesn't weigh very much. Yeah. But, yeah. That's, that's so, funny. I caught one. Damn. That's the only one I caught all day. Yeah. Was whoever you were fishing with, were they like, I figured as much? Or were they like, dang it, should have known? Or like... What do you mean? Whoever you, like, whoever you were... You weren't fishing alone. Right? No, I was with Dad. So whenever you did it, yeah. like, did you... Was your dad like... <laughs> or like, did he's like, I knew it? Or... <laughs> is he disappointed? Um... Is <laughs> <He was> expecting... <laughs> I mean, the guy figured as much. He found the whole situation pretty funny, <clears throat> from what I remember. But he certainly expected nothing less of me. <laughs> well, I remember whenever we were doing he like projects. Happy they didn't hook him. Oh, I remember when we were doing hooked. like we would do like school projects. There was a time it's like, all right, Aaron, here you go. You can use this drill. He's like, oh, well, you want Rick? Rick's not using it. <laughs> 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 like Rick doesn't Rick's use it. Rick's just time. confidently. Mm. <laughs> 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 like okay. Like, I've never done this with you guys before. Here we go. Did the uh, hook in the back of the neck, that <laughs> oh, was that the needle, needle phobia, or is it just like it's not its own thing? It's a, it's a hook, and it just yeah, sucks. Yeah, but it's kind of. It of, sucks. I mean, yeah. it's not hollow. A hook sucks. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, a hook and a needle are not the same thing. They're not, but I, for some reason I feel like they would elicit the same emotion. I mean, that that's the same emotion as like if you got stabbed. Yeah. But it's not a fear. Yeah. So like, but it's real thin. You could someday get a piercing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I don't so know. you can get a don't piercing? They, don't they use a needle for that? No. Pretty sure you like you take a needle, you it's, stab a needle. It's not hollow. Ear. Yeah, it's not hollow. That's yeah, but it's like a needles. sewing needle. I don't know. Let's look up the difference between needle and sewing. <laughs> Get the dictionary. <clears throat> like that's needle back there. I'm not afraid of that. It's just, it's just a sword. We had the uh, opening too with the uh, going through the glass window. Yeah, which I like the. Well, uh, don't cheat. I love the the yeah the breakfast bar stuff, right? The, yeah. The Russian guy was like dressed in like a silk suit, you know. It was like almost perfect, but. Was I was thinking about it too. Whenever like after he came in, but I was laughing about the instance of everything yeah. going on. But I'm like, why did was there another way in, or like well, what was the reason for him to do that? Because like those guys, and then I was like, was Boyle just on the other side of that door, just being like, are you ready to go? Did you eat your breakfast? All right, let's go. You know, I'm like, but are they just in there like? One, two, you know, counting money. <laughs> while they're One, on uh, 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 <laughs> two, uh, 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 Like, uh, what was going on there? So, yeah, I get Terry being like, why'd you go through a window? Yeah. There was no fire escape. He just went straight through the window. I hate how Amy is so submissive to Gina. She Gina is. treats her like such crap. She does. She's 
She was like, oh, thank you so much, Gina, for using your brilliance to help me. See, the thing is that Gina legitimately is trying to help. She is. She just acts that way. But, like, you know, when she was talking to her at the end, she's like, hey, this was a good idea. She wants you to feel better about herself. It's, just, it's, it's like that idea of, like, I can make fun of you, but no one else can. You know? Yeah. And that damn, like... Oh, good. I didn't want to do this work right now anyway. Yeah. <laughs> she just throws it away. <laughs> Can I have a favorite? Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> it doesn't mean you just don't get to do the work. Yeah. Uh, also, great lines and fun Terry starved to death. Yeah. That was a good An one. hour ago. Yeah. It's just normal Terry now. <laughs> then they wake up with no Jake. And it's like, did you eat him? <laughs> I, I love that. Did you eat, did you eat Jake? And I loved the, like, in the middle of the night, he grabs them and flips them over. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I mean, my so favorite line stuff. was Hulk with Brother Zen. I regret the words I have already spoken. Yeah, oh, that was. <laughs> I regret so the words I've already spoken. Yeah. He, 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 there's a difference between like, oh, what website do you use? No, oh, you know, I used uh, linewave.com. It's like, yeah. oh, really? It's like, well, that like, oh, let's just go to linewave.com. Do you, you don't need the whole thing. It's like, oh, this is the article. Yeah. Eight, two, seven, five, four. Eight, do eight. you think he memorized a, a written line, or were they just like do numbers and stuff? Just say, like, or maybe say they had it. URL. Maybe they had it like written, and he was reading it off of it. Because that's a hell of a. I think you like that one there. I think you could use a U, like just like BS a URL. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now went to blindwave.com slash reaction slash eight seven five four ampersand dot net slash URL and HTML. Dot net. And you, you just like, oh, that's it. There you go. Like all you gotta do is like, if you just say like, make sure you start with this. Make sure you end with this. Like yeah. you can just add. Some we should shit try to there. go to that URL. You just add shit in between that one that they mentioned. Yeah. I yeah. wonder if it exists. Sometimes they do that in shows, right? Like they're like sometimes this website or this phone number or whatever and you call mm-hmm. it. They had to disable a phone number for something. What was that? Something I heard about where like there was a phone number in something and they had to disable it because it went to. They had to change. What was it? They had to change something in a show or movie because the phone number actually went to like some kind of like sex hotline. <laughs> I remember a story about this. And I can't remember. I remember what it was. growing up as a kid, and there was like a call this line to win like Transformers toy or whatever, mm. and like we called it. And I don't know if we got the number wrong or whatever, but we got a sex line. I was disappointed. Where are you? Deeply. <laughs> This is the worst thing that's happened to my young adolescent <laughs> self. Oh, maybe it was this. Animaniacs reboot accidentally airs phone number for a sex hotline. Huh. Accidentally. Accidentally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, uh, The Office. That's what I'm thinking of. The Office, one prop featured a phone number that is now a sex hotline. Maybe mm-hmm. that's what I was thinking of. Because I'm like, I don't think I knew the Animaniacs. What was the uh, phone number? Uh, let me see what they say here. Fans of The Office can appreciate the details in the prop spot in the background or those... That are seen fleeting moments during the episode "Women's Appreciation." A flyer included a phone number that fans could actually call. The number now, however, is a is a sex hotline. Bills is flashed by a man in the office parking lot. Oh yeah, okay. Dwight hopes to find the. Flash. Have, have you seen this man? And it's the number. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah so it's that part there with any yeah. information. So if you actually call that number, though, it now goes to a sex hotline. <laughs> okay. Phone number shown in Captain Marvel tweet goes to phone sex line. So there's, there's, apparently there's been a few times that this happened. <laughs> so. All right, well, I think that's it for Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm glad they at least got out of the city uh, and away from the smell of urine. But back to yes. urine next week. Thank you for dropping in. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, we have more right now over patreon.com slash You can find it down in the description below to Patreon. You can skip to the next four episodes there, as well as the Raw Rider tier gives you full length uh, for all the episodes where you can watch along the entire thing with us. Um, and also, twitch.tv slash blindwave while you're down looking for Patreon. Check that out for all of our live streams.